Hello. Today I'll start a new tutorial series in which we will be creating, actually recreating, a given site from our members in our forums. The site URI is graphicstation.com. I just want to thank uh, Mary Atkins to give us the opportunity. This is actually a very basic site and they have two pages. One is about graphic station and home and a very basic layout. Basic but look good, good uh, very, very good looking layout. So first of all, let's inspect what we have in the screen. We have our header part which we have this colorful bar then our black part with a site logo and then we have a part which is actually half and half uh, some part is text and an image here we will make something different there and then our shadow here a nice shadow and then we have another text and then we have another half which has their portfolio items shown with a light box like plugin. So afterwards we have our footer here. Actually I think you cannot see it totally so let me just resize my screen. So in the footer they have this colorful bar again and a black portion and with this black portion they have four columns and then they have a full column about corporate. So what we are going to do is really quickly create the exact same site with more features with Ultimate. For that, I have just created a new website in our servers, which can be uh, reached to gs.ultimatumteam.com. So, I'm just going to Appearance and Teams and I'm just activating Ultimate. When I activate Ultimate, it will give me the general settings screen of Ultimate. Here you can set many, many options about Ultimate. I'm just hitting click Save Changes and it will tell me it has been updated successfully so what i'm doing next is just going to start creation of the template right away for that reason i'm going to templates in template screen i have a basic template named 906 grid and it's always default and it has an ultimate default layout in it so let's first start editing this template I'm clicking edit, click submit. I'm just naming this to graphics station and everything is fine. Hit and save. Now I have my graphics station template. Clicking layout. In layout screen, I have an ultimate and default layout and no other layouts. For that, I'm just going to delete this layout as well. Okay, now we have no layouts and a template without any layouts have been created. So I'm just coming back to Graphics Station website. As I told before, we have a nice header here so let's start with replicating this one so i'm just opening firebug which is a free firefox extension so in firebug i can hit and select any items around a page and i can know their classes ids etc so I'm just coming to this part and as you can see I see the black part is an image but 
there has to be some image for that colorful part as well. I'm just right clicking to image and click view background image. So here it is. It is color bar GIF in the system. I'm just hitting file and clicking save pages. Color bar GIF. I'm saving it to my desktop. So I have the first file in my desktop. Nice. Now, when I check the size of the image, I see it's 6 pixels in height. So, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to layout settings. I'll just create a layout name header. And I'm just selecting partial layout because I'll be using this layout again and again. And I don't want to create it again and again. I'm hitting save and when I hit save Ultimatum will give me an empty layout screen with elements on right hand side and I have my insert row etc here I'm clicking insert row so for the top part I'll need a hundred percent row I'm just hitting this and I'm clicking Ripper CSS in this row and I'm selecting my image from my desktop which is color, color bar GIF let me just take this here hit open OK and then it will be top left and it will repeat horizontally now I'm just giving my height as six pixels and hit save I'm saving the layout okay I have the top part ready now let's see what we have next we have this wrapped background so let's see background image is actually a gradual black so I'm hitting save images again and it says now background fill PNG nice I'm just saving this now afterwards I have to have this part and hitting the background image it shows white actually it's not what I want so let's use our firebug again let's find the zigzag image because it has to be an image now what I can see is that my god a great talent of hidden this part so this is their logo so it has to be in this part but I cannot see the zigzag Let's see this image again. The background image. Maybe it has the zigzag. Yes, it has the zigzag actually. So we have that image also. Now I'm checking its size. It's 156 pixels in height. So I'm just coming back to site. What I see is that their logo is actually about to fit in a one third of head part so let's insert a row with one third and two third i'm just clicking insert again and in wrapper css this time i'm hitting background color and image yeah. selecting yes zigzag is here as you can see hitting open now file is uploaded I'm just selecting repeat horizontal and giving my height as 169. Hit and save and saving the layout. Now I have my other part created. I'm going back to layout screen. So I have 
this part which is half and half and this part again which is half and half and then my footer let's start with doing the half and half parts so let's call this home it's a full layout and then I'm hitting insert row one half and half Hit an insert row again, one half and half again. Now I have my half and halves ready, and then I'm just dragging and dropping header above layout body, saving my layout. Now, what I'm going to do is that I'm going back to layout screen, I'm making my home layout as my default layout, and hit save. Until now, we were going blind, so let's visit our site now. Now, as you can see, yes, we have the colorful bar here. We have our zigzag image here. Let's open Firebug and see why we have this gap here. Now, when I come to this part, it gives me nothing but we have a text here and this text makes it open the line so this is probably because i have line height in my css so i'm just getting the idea of this column and copy it coming back to my layout screen in home default I click edit CSS and I go directly into custom CSS and say my ID here and give it line white one pixels this should do the trick I'm submitting the query come in here refreshing my page and it did the trick nice we have our header ready now now I'm just going to create the footer so we will have top and bottom ready and then we will go in the middle part let's come to our original site here we have again a gradual background here and our color bar so let's start with color bar I'm just hitting close fire bar so I can close the spot I'm going back to layout editor back to layout screen now I'm just creating my layout named footer it's a partial layout and I'm hitting save now I'm inserting a row again which is 100% click on wrapper CSS click in background color and image upload image selecting color bar it's an open repeat horizontally height as 6 pixels and in font styling here actually you can give line height directly instead of going custom CSS why I have shown this before is to show you the custom CSS abilities I'm hitting save I'm hitting save layout and going back to my layout so I have let's see the background image my shaded part I'm just right click and it it's actually very thin so it's hard to right click it click in file say pages water fill nice naming and hit save and it's 196 pixels so I'm just coming back here what I see is that I have four 
columns here and one column here. So this will be a bit tricky because if I use background image here then I will have nothing left for here. What I think is that we can actually have this part a bit at bottom so we can use a background color and for the four columns we can use the gradual background image. So we are going to insert a four column row and a full row. So I'm going to layout settings and hit on insert row and I'm hitting insert row again so that I can insert my four column row. So four column will be at top and the second I have inserted will be here. I'm hitting wrapper CSS again, hitting background colors etc. Hitting upload, selecting photo fill 196. Okay, it's uploading it. Repeat horizontal 196. Hit and save. And save layout. Now my footer is ready. I'm going back to layout screen and in my home default layout I'm just getting footer at the layout body and click save layout. Now when I come to my screen what I'll see is that I have my footer there's a gap between here because we have a row here which we will give just the same color where the gradual background finishes. I think the length of this video is enough. In the next video we will just finish the footer part and start the middle part. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any problems or questions just do not hesitate to ask us. As you know, we have a great community in our member forums. Everybody will be willing to help you. Have a nice day.